Hi guys, just a really quick video here today. We are demonstrating the iCOS of the CR Max BT. BT standing for Bluetooth. We were in a Land Rover Discovery, it's a 2007 model, and you'll see a whole host of warning lights on the dashboard. Um, I guess Discovery owners are no stranger to these warning lights, unfortunately. So, um, this is just a quick demonstration of this tool working on a Land Rover. This tool will do a lot more than I'm going to show you in this video, um, but it's just really a quick demonstration, as I say. Now, if you are interested in this tool, unfortunately, there are fakes and clones on the market, so that they can damage your vehicle. So, if you want to make Make sure you're getting a genuine and official tool i'll pop the link in the description below this video for where you can pick up the genuine and official product okay so first of all what we're going to do is click into diagnostics and we're going to select our manufacturer which is obviously land rover and this is the tool connecting to the vehicle now so there's like a little dongle thing here which you can see a picture of. We've actually got that plugged into the diagnostic port down there somewhere. You can't really see it. Um, now there's two ways you can select uh, connect to the vehicle. You can either select your vehicle manually or you can select the uh, the VIN of the vehicle. I'm just going to go in manually. I'm going to go Discovery. It's a 2007 Discovery 3, so we'll click this one here. And it's a diesel V6, so we'll click OK. And what we'll do first of all is we'll uh, we'll get to the section where we can start diagnosing the engine fault. So we we'll go to control unit, and then we'll click on to engine control module. Ignition is on. Read fault code. Uh, it doesn't have that built in. So then we've got some faults here. Now forget about the top two because we've had a bit of problems with the dashboard and a problem with the, uh, the vents. So we've been unplugging uh, those particular systems. But these are the ones that we need to look at. So it's the mass airflow sensor and the air intake temperature. Uh, we've had a new MAF put into the vehicle, a mass airflow sensor. But what we need to do now is erase these codes and put which will turn off the check engine light. Uh, so we go back and we click on to uh, clear fault memory and that's gone off straight away there as you saw. And the same process can be done for the other system which is the airbag, which is the restraint control module or supplemental restraint control module. So again, we'll go read fault code. Uh, this one we had to remove, uh, we had to unclip the passenger's seat belt, uh, sorry, not the seat belt, the uh, connection underneath the driver's, the passenger's seat. Okay, and eventually, so we've uh, put it back together, but obviously in doing that, we've caused the airbag light to turn on. That'll generally happen if you don't disconnect the battery before you unplug the seats. So again, though, that wasn't an issue because we knew we could just simply do a reset with this tool. So we cl click on clear fault memory, keep an eye on the airbag light, that has gone off as well and then we come to the three remaining so we got the three amigos so we got the ABS the traction and then the brake warning light oops I've come up too far so what we'll do for these ones is we'll go and diagnose these now we previously already diagnosed this fault and it told us that there was a faulty ABS sensor or wheel speed sensor on the front right so let's just go in and double check that the fault will still be there. It might be under like vehicle dynamic system or something. Have I gone too far? Probably have. Where are you? There we go. Vehicle dynamics control module. Click OK. So we'll go read fault code, uh, standard powertrain. And then again, forget about the U code. These are the ones we're looking for the control module and the front right wheel speed sensor. So that's what we, we knew was going to happen because we'd already diagnosed that, so we need to come back. Now we've put the new ABS sensor in, we can click on clear fault memory. Erase operation done. You see the fault codes, are, the warning lights are still there, I'll come to that in a second. Uh, but if we go to read fault code, it's telling us the fault codes are no longer there. So that's a good thing, but obviously, as I say, the, uh, the warning lights are still there. In this vehicle, each vehicle works just that little bit differently. This vehicle requires an engine reset, so we'll turn the engine off. Now we'll turn everything back on and you'll probably find that after a few seconds all of the lights turn off. There we go. The only light that hasn't turned off is the fuel light unfortunately. It's going to cost some money. There we go. So that is just a, a quick demonstration of the iCarsoft. 
Yeah, okay. CO Max, it's just a warning to tell you to remove the dongle from the US the diagnostic port. Um, but yeah, I mean, you probably saw some of the manufacturers that it covers to start with. These are the manufacturers that are currently installed to this device. Um, if we go back, it also does service functions. So if we just show you those as well, it'll do like injector coding, oil uh, service reset, battery registration, DPF regeneration. Obviously, these depend on the specific vehicle. They, these these functions don't work on all vehicles. They they work on a selection of vehicles. So uh, it might be worth checking to see the um, checking with the seller. Um, to make sure that it is going to work on your vehicle. Now, as I say, there are fakes, there are clones, unfortunately, on the market, and they can damage your vehicle. I've seen it happen firsthand, so what I would recommend you doing is just simply using the link in the description below this video, because that will take you to the genuine and official product, and that's going to make sure that you don't get, um, like, you know, like a fake or a clone unit, which can damage your vehicle. Okay, thanks very much for watching, and I hope this helps.